Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. It's me, Swathi Singh. It's time for another meditation. This time it's a full moon meditation. We have the full moon in Sattabhishak Aquarius as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Guys, I have to apologize that I am a bit late with this meditation. I should have posted it a few days ago. I haven't been well myself lately and uh, it's a good job that this meditation is all about healing because I need some healing in particular. Uh, nothing too wrong is going on with me. I've just got some stuff that I need to sort out. Um, so I don't have anything viral or anything, you know, too bad. Um, but I do have something that requires me to take a few weeks out of work. So I've taken the website down. At the moment, the website says that I'm too busy. Uh, I'm going to change that message to say something like recuperating or recovering, because that's basically what I'm doing. Um, today's meditation, we're just going to do audio only. I hope that's all right with you guys. I just haven't got the energy or, uh, yeah, basically haven't got the energy. <laughs> I've got a lot of time, but I haven't got energy. Um, I haven't got energy to do anything more elaborate, like get music and all that beautiful stuff that I enjoy doing so much. Today what I thought we'd do is just audio only and uh, it's just going to be purely guided. I'm just going to tune in and we're going to do what's called a soul journey. Now a soul journey is something I've been trained to do personally by Denise Lynn. She is one of my many teachers. I learned this while staying at her home in fact in California um, she's a really great teacher and she taught me how to do soul journeys she taught me how to do past life regression all kinds of things so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna get set up here hang on my Mac is making a lot of noise I hope that doesn't come up on the speaker here well it doesn't matter but what we're going to do is we're going to explore the energy of Sattabhishak. This is perhaps one of my favorite nakshatras. I shouldn't have a favorite, but maybe I do. And maybe it is this one. I think it's my favorite because it's all about healing. And, uh, you know, the symbolisms behind it are really quite beautiful. We've got the one symbolic meaning that, you know, this represents the hundred healers. And some people say that it's the hundred healers to the gods. The deity is Varuna, the god of the night sky. And there are many things behind this nakshatra, but one of them that I wanted to explore in this meditation was to, to look at the physical body, actually. I often think that this nakshatra has more of a collective healing connotation because it's here with Aquarius uh, or in Aquarius I should say as per sidereal Vedic so to me it, it sort of well I tend to think it's um, you heal a slice of the collective consciousness that I think that's its true potential that's its larger potential but I think this time let's look at the physical body specifically and we'll do a soul journey that goes into that one of the things that I found in my research just quickly as I was rereading this nakshatra was that illnesses connected with this nakshatra can be hard to cure but when you apply cures during this time they really work like magic and they are highly effective so that's going to be the nature of the soul journey we take today <clears throat> now <clears throat> just quickly what is a soul journey well a soul journey is where I'm going to guide you through a bit of a meditation. Uh, it's kind of a meditation experience, but it will also require you to crank up your imagination and visualize, as I suggest, what's happening. And soul journeys are a lot of fun because uh, sometimes, well, some people fall asleep, so that can be something that happens. Um, the other thing is that you can really feel your own healing energy working on you working on your physical body so that's that's what we're going to aim for in this meditation all right so this is a good one to do if you are 
a bit unwell, if you're tired, if you need to recharge, maybe you've got something chronic that you would like to heal. Maybe you keep getting migraines. Maybe you um, have some issues with your joints or um, you know something to do with your skin or maybe some autoimmune issue or so, anything, anything. Think of something to do with your physical body. And we're going to do a soul journey specifically to bring up your own healing energy to heal your physical body. All right. So I'm going to ring a 528 hertz tuning fork. This is the frequency of the heart chakra. And what I'd like you to do is follow this bell into silence. And if you haven't already found a place in which to relax, please do so. Get comfortable. You can close your eyes if you haven't already. And using your imagination I want you to visualize that we're traveling. We're traveling on a cloud. So picture a big white fluffy cloud and this cloud has come specifically to take you to a very special planet far away. But the amazing thing is that even though this planet is light years away, many, many light years away, this cloud makes the journey feel like a few seconds. So there you are on this cloud and we're moving, we're going, we are going to this planet. And finally, the cloud brings you to this beautiful, beautiful planet. Now, on this planet, it's a bit of a strange place because there's no sunlight as such. It's kind of, there's, there is lots of moonlight. I can see two moons in the sky and there's lots of beautiful moonlight and there's darkness but it's not a scary darkness. It's a very warm and welcoming kind of a darkness. And this beautiful cloud gently drops you off on a beach. And this beach has glorious white sand. And the white sand feels really, really comfortable underneath your feet. It feels soft. It's not hard. It's a soft kind of a sand. Very fine. And as you walk down the beach, you can hear very gentle waves just lapping up on the shore. And you breathe deeply. And you breathe deeply out. And after a few deep breaths in and a few deep breaths out, you decide 
to get comfortable. Something tells you inside that it's very safe here. And something tells you to sit down on the beach. And as you sit on the beach, you look out at the ocean, that mystical, magical ocean in front of you. And there's moonlight of two moons. Imagine that, two moons in the sky. So I don't know how that works, but somehow it works. <laughs> And you're there with this ocean. And now you get an extraordinary sense that the ocean is communicating with you. This is no ordinary ocean. This ocean is a being. And it's communicating to you that I am a special ocean I have healing energy within every single drop, within every single atom. And that if you care to lie down on the sand, the ocean is saying, I will heal you. And I will come and lap up gently on your body and I will heal anything you have in your physical body it will be healed I will make you new the ocean is saying and as you sit there you get a sense that I can trust this ocean that I can trust my body to the ocean and, and you're not worried. You're not worried that I need a towel or, you know, what if my clothes get wet or whatever. You're not worried about any of that. Somehow you just know, yeah, it's safe for me to lie down. And so you lie down on this beach. And you do so so that the waves are lapping up on your feet. Now start to feel these gentle waves lapping up on top of your feet. It feels wonderful. And the most extraordinary thing is it's, it's not wet. It just feels smooth and nourishing. Your feet are being revitalized because every single drop in that ocean has this magic light and somehow that light, you know that it's entering your feet and you know that this light is taking away any form of stress in your feet. It's taking away any stagnation in your body, especially in your feet. It's, it's taking away any, any problems that you have in that area of your body. And this puts your mind at ease. Your mind is now becoming more and more at ease. And you're sinking deeper into a state of relaxation. And as you sink deeper into a state of relaxation, the waves start to lap up on your legs. And the waves are reaching your knees. And you breathe in deeply and you breathe out. And on a long out breath, the waves take away more of the stress. And you can feel it. You can feel this beautiful water that only feels smooth. It, it doesn't feel wet. 
just smooth, yet the light in every drop is permeating your physical body. And every time a wave goes back to the ocean, you know that it's taken away some toxins or some stress from your body. And now the waves creep higher still. Now the waves are starting to, to work on your upper legs. And as they gently move onto your body and then move back, you know that these waves are taking out all the stress, all the toxins, any energy that doesn't feel good is leaving your body. And now the waves creep higher still. They're lapping up against your stomach. And now those waves are starting to work on your internal organs. So feel the water gently work on your body. Feel the water come up and then drag out anything that's impure, anything that is stressful, anything that feels toxic or that isn't good. The waves are pulling that out. Because light, you see light can move through. Light can, can move through us and take what we don't need. So allow the light from the droplets of this highly intelligent ocean to take away what you don't need and really feel your body relax underneath these waves. Really feel every muscle just drop. Every muscle is loosening. If there are any knots in your body, if there's anything that's tight, if there's anything that, that doesn't feel 100%, just feel it relax, feel it drop, feel it unwind. And now the waves are coming higher still. Now they're coming up to your heart and it's covering your arms. It's just wonderful. This healing beautiful, light-filled ocean is absolutely clearing away any toxins, any stress, anything that doesn't feel right. And whenever you feel like, take a deep breath in and take a long, deep breath out. And on that long, deep exhale, send out any stress, any impurities, anything you need to release. And on the next long, deep exhale, send out any negative thoughts, any negative thinking. All right, now we've still got this ocean lapping up against your body and it's up as high as your heart. Now remember this ocean is very intelligent. So it's not going to cover your head. But before it's time to leave this planet, this ocean is going to lap up to your neck. So just allow, allow this ocean to come up to your neck 
and cover you with its lovely, warm, light-filled, healing waves. And it comes up to your neck and shoulders and as it rushes back, it takes all the stress from your physical body. And you can feel it, you feel yourself filled with light. It's a healing light. It's a healing light that leaves you revitalized. It leaves you clean, it leaves you clear. It leaves your body relaxed. There are no knots in your body. There's no tension. Everything feels loose inside. Everything feels relaxed inside. And as these lovely waves keep lapping up against your body, clearing, clearing your entire physical body, you wonder, well, what about my head? <laughs> How is that going to be healed? But you see, the ocean knows what to do. And the ocean sends out an extra special wave of pure light. And as the next wave comes up to your shoulders, an extra wave of pure light comes to surround your head. And you can feel your head relax. It becomes clear, it illuminates, it shines. Stress is gone. You don't even know what that word means here on this planet. Because now every single bit of stress in your body is totally gone. You are 100% relaxed. You feel 100% safe. You feel totally understood by this magical being, by this magical ocean that has come and healed you. You feel yourself one with this planet and with this ocean. You have nothing to fear, you have nowhere to go, you have nothing to do except just be. And as you are being in this stillness, you discover the most important thing of all. And that is your own self-love. You discover your true nature, that your true nature is just love. And you think, wow, this is the greatest discovery ever. Is this who I really am? And everything in you and the ocean and the planet says, yes, this is who you are. And now that you've made that incredible discovery, 
the cloud arrives and it's time to go home. So you hop back on that cloud and I'm now going to ring this 528 tuning fork to finish off the meditation. 